13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Good Monday to you. I'm Ross Mate right now with your 13 Action News Update. Metro Police now say the man who stabbed one of their officers had a history of violence against police, and that suspect was shot and killed. This happened outside of a gun range near Russell and Dean Martin last week. Police say three armed people who were working at that range, along with another cop, shot the suspect. He's seen stabbing an officer in the neck with a screwdriver in this video. She, that officer who was stabbed, is expected to be okay. Three people are facing charges for allegedly kidnapping and beating up a man they believe sexually assaulted a girl. All three are now being held on different charges. And the man they're accused of kidnapping and assaulting has also been arrested for the alleged sexual assault. That man told police, quote, he deserved the beating and wanted to take it like a man. He also did not want to press charges. We have more details on how this all unfolded on KTNV.com. And squatters may be to blame for another fire here in the valley, this time at the vacant St. Joseph's Catholic School. That's in downtown Las Vegas on Bridger, right near South 13th Street. Firefighters say squatters used that building, and firefighters saw them running out as they got there. It's not yet clear if that is the official cause of this fire. No one was hurt. Mostly cloudy and mild. That's what we'll see for your Monday night and for your Tuesday. Temperatures average 5 to 10 degrees above the seasonal average for the majority of the week. And tonight, that means 60s approaching dinner time. The cloud cover, that sticks around overnight into tomorrow morning with our lows only dropping to the upper 40s ahead of sunrise tomorrow. We do expect thicker cloud cover in play for your Tuesday, but temperatures still on the warm side will top out in the mid-60s. We're near 70 degrees for Wednesday and Thursday. We hold with those mild conditions through the end of the week. Looks like our next cool down comes this weekend. Highs fall to the low 60s with breezy wind and an isolated rain chance by Sunday. Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.